Welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass, and today I have another item in a box. And I will open that box in just a second. I make custom leather for random situations. You know, you would think survivalism, uh, outdoors, camping, or end of the world, apocalyptic style stuff. I don't like the Fold up taco stuff you can buy on the internet all day long with fancy little stamped out artwork that someone <laughs> hand stamped the whole way. I want something weird and I like weird stuff. Well, I have a box. Another, another box. <laughs> You're going to like this. This is Ontario Knife Company. I would highly recommend that all of you check them out. Because they have some of the craziest apocalyptic style. Look at this guy. You ready for this? This is the Bowie. This is their Bowie knife. Not a bad sheath. Really nice. Got this is nice and it's got a solid piece in here. This snap. Watch this. Watch. See, pops. And this one I think kind of pops. It's got nice lanyard hole here. But this is just for roughing it. The Raider buoy. I guess it's called the Raider buoy. It's called Raider buoy. Yep. USA right there. Everyone complains about that. Don't show them China, China knives. You better show them USA knives. All right, okay. So there's your buoy. And I got something planned for it. This is a cool sheath, but you know where this is going. I had a crazy idea. So I had this dream I was being attacked by wolves and in that dream I had this and it ended it all it was real simple this is a really nice one it's got your 410 shot shell a lot of people like this stuff those bond arms but I'm gonna incorporate this into my project it's got to have a holster for this a survival tin and a ferrule rod and some stuff and some other things and snare wire and animal critter catchers and you know it's got to have all that stuff so <sighs> here we go let's get started i really like how knives like this look good handle got a nice hand stop here and here and all metal uh back here this is well this is rubberized has kind of a crazy feel to it all right, so that is a little bit over five inches for the handle. And then let's just kind of figure out this is going to go beyond. So there's your, let's just do our eight. It's about a 10 inch blade. So that's uh, about what you're working with. Very hefty, very thick. I like to show people the details about the blade. For those of you that are interested in buying one for yourself, I'm not sure. Depth on your blade. It's very thick. Got a nice cutting edge. But I don't want that sheath, so I'm going to get started on something else. I got to incorporate how everything's going to be. And I got some ideas laid out. I like doing wet molds. I don't usually show it on the channel that I do these templates I cut out just for. Uh, Altoids tins and things like that, but this is another way that I do that to lay these down and uh, It gets it a very nice tight design without any you, you don't have any like marks from like a staple gun or nothing like that around your Edges for those of you out there that like using the staple gun technique kind of like with this here This is just it's a mold knife cut out for the blade. You can do the same exact thing at your home uh, to cut out a nice depth to drop in so it gives you something and you can coat the bottom down here this this will catch every bit of this and uh, it gives you a lot of alternatives for doing stuff without having to sandwich together a bunch of different things but uh, it's just a better option for a blade like this because it is it does have some heft to it it is a chopper so chopper and a stabber so you want to make sure you've got uh, plenty of room for that bad boy 
I don't want to do a fold. I don't want to do, you know, double layers with a, I don't want to add the uh, blade stop on the inside. I want the, the front, this whole thing to be one big blade stop. I want it to be able to just drop it in there. Like, here we go, chop, 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 drop it in there, snap, done. You know what I mean? I want it to be something simple, easy to use, and but have a lot of sophisticated stuff going on. So you want it to be something very functional. All right, here we go. Drew's gonna help me out. Uh, right, kiddo? Mm hmm. You gonna help me out with this? Yeah. You gonna show people we're doing Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Ninja Turtle Puzzle Team. Look at that. Isn't that funny? Yeah. So it'll make everybody laugh when you pull that out. Alright, so we, what you kind of have here? This is uh, your survival cards, right? Mm hmm. We have a knife, some needles here, what do you got? a what miniature do you got? saw. Some small bait. There's some fish hooks, and that. And That's so. for your snare wire. Yeah, snare wire, and some and more fish hooks. Even comes with a couple of buttons hooks. too. And it comes with a couple of buttons right, right here and here. That one has a bunch of saws in it. There's for your snare wire as well. Yeah. And, and then, then saws. Saw, saw, saw. And then and over here you got right here. It's bait, fish bait hooks, yeah. and that's an arrowhead with some more little fish bait hooks. things are cool. Yeah, it looks like a fake fish. And right, right here, the bass bait fish, and another knife, some more snares. You even got a toothpick, needles. <laughs> There's your little toothpick, some more needles, and some fish hooks. What's that other thing there? What's this? Oh, yeah. What's that? This is a. Uh, What'd you call it? Survival saw? Oh, yeah, survival saw. I know. Saw. A lot of people don't like packing the survival saw. They're like, eh, they'll break and blah, 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 blah. I can make them work. I don't know what and everybody these are else's problem is. The... That's your uh, Bigfoot bushcraft. <laughs> That's the, their fire tenders. Yeah. And these are aqua aqua tabs oh yeah, aqua tabs and those matches. are used for purificating water and this is just um, pack yourself a little bag or magnesium capsules yeah. and they can burn them. they go up to what was it again six thousand yep. degrees celsius and they can burn through steel they can they can weld steel pretty much yeah they can and burn through a two by four yeah you remember and this is, I forgot what this is called. Spartan fire. Spartan fire. I, I like using that stuff because you can break it up into smaller pieces. And here's your little compass. A little compass. We couldn't do a big one. Cause you want to see if you can fit that stuff in there? Yeah. How would you pack it if you were packing it? I'll go with these first. Is it going to fit? Yeah, well. <laughs> if it, there it goes. Will that one fit? If it doesn't, just break it down. Uh, I'll be dying. It actually fit. Let's give it a shove. There you go. Good stuff. And you can just pry those out of there with your knife. 
And you can probably leave that package so it doesn't get ruined. You might want to take, take everything out? out of the bag because you, you want to save room. Yeah. Okay. You can probably leave those in there. Just roll those up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just roll it up. You might want the plastic bag. Just give it a squish. I always, I always kind of press it down. There you go. Our aqua tabs don't need to be in a bag. Yeah, they do. What you talking about? <laughs> you won't put them in a bag. Okay. Just leave them in the bag. It protects them. So I use the baggie so I protect stuff. You can fold this up. See, it all fits. And then you just stack your matches in there. Shove them all on one side like this. Look. Go like uh -huh. that. Yeah. And then sort of roll it up. See, it's all working out, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And you can throw that in there in case you have trouble striking those strike anywhere matches. Yep. Sometimes they don't work out so great. And yeah. you should have plenty of room to put. You can just put those in there. Yeah, you don't have yeah. to use a bag for those. This stuff here doesn't need a bag either. And we did about, uh, what, about two, it's about two feet of this. Probably should fold it up better. Give you a little bit more room. People always like seeing what's in these when you pack them up. And that's pretty good. And you're going to have plenty of fishing lines and all that stuff with your cordage. And you show them the ferro rod, the pace counter. Oh, yeah. Here's our ferro rod. There's your pace counter right there. And this is uh, waxwood. Yeah, that's waxwood. It burns pretty good. You just scrape it off and you yeah. can strike it up. And fire. You remember the pace count? You remember how I told you that works? Every 10? Yeah. Every left foot you count. Every other left foot. Yeah, you count. And you get to 10 and then you move one down and you just keep doing that and uh, you get through the 9, bring those back up and then bring one down and then just keep going from there. I put 5 because that equals 3 miles once yeah. you get all, through all 5 of them. Anyways, but that's that. So that's all packed up. That's what's going inside the kit. The kits are breakaway. I made everything so you could separate everything so you don't have to wear it on your knife when you're out and about. And we're going to be using cordage that actually has the uh, fishing line, fire cord, and snare wire in it. So mm -hmm. you won't have to really worry about uh, carrying a bunch of extra stuff inside your kit. That's just in case you need it. There's a method to my madness. So I can make it like this. It's gangster like this. My, my dumb snap went hanging over the edge. So I had to fix that. It's all good. <laughs> Sometimes you've just got to modify. Modify. There's this. And got a pistol holster. I've got to add my holes Let me finish that up there's that piece that piece though i just need to finish it it's pretty neat you just unsnap here unsnap here and your pouch comes out so you don't have to worry about losing your stuff it's all locked down <sighs> i'm making this so that it all comes apart because you don't want to carry all your stuff in the same spot if you're in a situation you're like hey I'm going to put my pistol over here, and I'm going to put my pouch right back here on the back. Uh, I'm going to keep my knife right here. You know, you can move it around. It's pretty cool. It's like the transformer sheath. It's going to be pretty cool. The lace. These are the stops for my clips. And I've got a couple of these to add. One here and one here. So you can remove and put on just like it would go on your belt on your waist. So I just got to get this laced around it. And... Uh, yeah, got to have the paracord, and I should be able to bring it all the way to the end so you can tie it to your leg. I've got the ranger bands set up. Lots of paracord. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? That's the back side. You won't be seeing that because all your goodies are going to go in the front, and that's what hangs your goodies on. Knife fits like a glove. Nice and snappy going on in there. Well, here's what we got. Nice and clean. And like I said, if you need to take this off and put it on you, you can. 
flies are really bad this time of year. It's fly season, y'all. Uh, nice snap here. Just move that out of the way. Get your knife out nice and easy. You got your snaps over here. D-ring, it moves around a little bit because it's going to have some weight to it. Like I said, this is probably going to be too heavy, so you'd want to pull this up. Add more ammo to this if you want for your your pistol. You can always do that, add it in there. There's still plenty of room in there. This is really neat. Just unsnaps, get your fail rod out. And that, that works to hold this down. In case you snag something in the woods, it keeps it all nice and tight. And plus I like this weaving. See, I always go left and right. I go uh, this way first, this way, and then I come come back around and then I go the other way. It makes this nice pattern around it. I did that here. I did that here, but then I added I added a stitch on the inside too. That's why this one looks a little bit different than these, because that's got more stitching in it, just because it's a pistol. That's the only reason why I did it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Pretty nice little rig. Whatever, check that out. Isn't that cool? Crazy. I don't know why that got hazy. It turned kind of purplish. I don't know why it did that. It must have been the, the brush. Yeah. Uh, please uh, hope this give you give you guys some ideas. And uh, please share it with your friends. And uh, pass the ideas along. Help each other out. Uh, God bless. Take care. Stay safe.